Welcome all, and thank you for joining us today for the Cancer Research Institute's 34th Annual Awards Ceremony. This year, we gather virtually to celebrate six scientists whose work has earned them CRI's highest accolades, the William B. Coley Award for Distinguished Research in Basic and Tumor Immunology, and the Fred W. Alt Award for New Discoveries in Immunology. I'm Jill O'Donnell Tormey, CEO and Director of Scientific Affairs at the Cancer Research Institute. It's been my distinct honor to have served this organization for more than 30 years, in which time I have seen CRI's research funding programs help transform tumor immunology from an obscure and unpopular field in today's most promising area of cancer research. CRI's more than six decades of dedication to advancing immunology and cancer immunotherapy, coupled with the passion, drive, and talent of thousands of scientists equally committed to unleashing our immune system's power to fight cancer, together have yielded some of the greatest breakthroughs in the treatment of many types of cancer. These efforts, funded by donor generosity with the guidance of CRI's Distinguished Scientific Advisory Council, have expanded our knowledge of the immune system and its relationship to cancer, providing a fundamental framework upon which today's life-saving immunotherapies are built. As a result, cancer, one thought to be untreatable, are now becoming curable. It is clear that science has just begun to tap the full potential of the immune system in cancer treatment. CRI remains committed to realizing this potential by bringing together academia, industry, and other nonprofits to carry out the kind of innovative laboratory and clinical research that will push the field forward and save as many lives as possible. Through our joint efforts, we can realize CRI's vision of a future immune to cancer. Today, we honor six individuals whose groundbreaking research is helping to achieve this bold vision. I'm delighted that CRI will feature these honorees and this ceremony during our first ever virtual gala, which will take place Tuesday, September 29th online. I invite you all to register and join us as we present our highest, other highest honor, the Oliver R. Grace Award for Distinguished Service in Advancing Cancer Research to YouTube sensation and philanthropist Markiplier. Comedian and actor Joel McHale will host the evening, during which we'll feature inspiring stories from immunotherapy patients, CRI-funded scientists, and CRI supporters, as well as musical performance, including one by our very own Dr. Jim Allison. So be sure to tune in on September 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So to no further ado, let's meet tonight's Coley and Alt Award winners. Established in 1975, the William B. Coley Award for Distinguished Research in Basic and Tumor Immunology honors the legacy of the late 19th century surgeon who today is regarded as the father of cancer immunotherapy. His pioneering work inspired his daughter, Helen Coley Knotts, to found the Cancer Research Institute 67 years ago. Over the years, CRI has bestowed the Coley Award upon outstanding pioneers in immunology and tumor immunology, and who went on to receive other prominent scientific accolades, including the Lasker Award and the Nobel Prize. In this way, the Coley Award serves as a predictor of impact given only to those scientists who truly transform the field. It's my pleasure now to introduce one such individual, 2005 Coley Award winner and director of CRI Scientific Advisory Council, Dr. James Allison. In 2018, Dr. Allison received the Nobel Prize jointly with Dr. Tsuko Hanjo for their discovery of cancer therapy by inhibition of negative immune regulation, creating a new approach to cancer treatment called checkpoint blockade therapy, which has produced the most immunotherapy successes seen in the clinic today. He is a regional professor and chair of the Department of Immunology, the Olga Keith Weiss Distinguished University Chair for Cancer Research, director of the Parker Institute for Cancer Research, and the executive director of the immunotherapy platform at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Among many honors, he is a member of the National Academies of Sciences and Medicine and received the Lasker DeBakey Clinical Medical Research Award in 2015. He has served as Director of CRI Scientific Advisory Council since 2011 and currently sits on several of CRI's grant and fellowship review, com review committees. Jim?
Thank you, Joe. Thank you for that introduction. And it's my honor and distinct honor and, and pleasure to have the uh, task of, of awarding these, these prizes today. And most of our current therapies function by activating or unleashing the adaptive branch of the immune system. In fact, mostly T cells, which can target precisely cancer cells and distinguish them from others. But there's another part of the immune system a more ancient part called our innate immune system that's critical for the immediate detection and response to threats like bacteria and viruses. We now know that this also plays an important role in fighting cancer. And while we haven't fully realized the full potential of, of the innate immune system and cancer therapy, that may soon change thanks to the work of the five esteemed colleagues that we honor tonight with the William B. Coley Award. Collectively, Dr. Andrea Sablazer, Glenn Barber, Zhijian Chen, Veit Hornung, and Russell Vance discovered and defined the sea gas sting pathway, a pathway that's critical to enabling our immune system to detect and respond to the presence of abnormal DNA, such as occurs with injury, infection, and cancer. Normally, DNA resides within the nucleus of the cell. But if something goes wrong, DNA can end up outside the nucleus in the cytoplasm. And this misplaced DNA can be recognized and bound by a protein called C-gas, whose structure and binding properties Dr. Blazer and Harnig first characterized in depth. Once C-gas binds DNA, it, Dr. Jonathan Vance showed that it produces a messenger molecule known as CGAMP that can then initiate a cascade of immune-related activity. And additionally, Dr. Chen showed these, this process to be important to the context of both autoimmune disease and viral infections. Dr. Vance showed the crucial link between sea gas and the sting protein, which was first discovered and described by Dr. Barber. After being turned on by cyclic GAMP, sting triggers the expression of a number of interferon-related genes. And as Dr. Chen showed, it can act as an immune-stimulating adjuvant to increase T cell activation and antibody production. Guided by many insights produced by their work, promising therapies have been developed to mimic sting and boost immune responses and are currently being explored in clinical trials, including in combination with other immunotherapies. Ultimately, the work of these five scientists has positioned us to better harness the powers of the innate immune system and potentially amplify immunotherapy's benefits and provide more cures for more patients. On behalf of the Cancer Research Institute Scientific Advisory Council, I'm proud to present the 2020 William B. Coley Award for distinguished work in basic and uh, tumor immunology to Dr. Andreas Bablazer, Glenn Barber, Jian Chin, Veit Hornig, and Russell Vance for their collective contributions to our understanding of the sea gas sting pathway, which has created new immune-based therapies approaches for treating cancer. Our first Coley Award tonight goes to Dr. Andreas, Dr. Andrea Laser, who began her work on sea gas as a member of Vite Harning's lab and has since continued her work while leading her own native immunity lab as an associate professor at the Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne in Switzerland, where her focus is to understand how the cells of our immune system detect threats and dissect the fundamental mechanisms that provide defense. Congratulations, Dr. Glesser. So um, thank you very much um, to the members of the selection committee for choosing me as one of the recipients of this year's Holy Award. Um, it's a tremendous honor for me to receive this award together with my colleagues James, Glenn, Russell, and Veit. And on this occasion, I would um, above all thank my current and past members of my group who over the past few years worked very hard and brought in their ideas to move forward um, this exciting field surrounding the sea pathway and the recognition of DNA as a danger signal. I'm also very grateful to all my collaborators that joined us with these efforts and I would in particular also thank my host institution and the funding agencies for supporting um, my research. And finally, I'm enormously grateful for the continued support that I have received 
throughout my academic career from my mentors, um, my colleagues at EPFL for creating such a friendly atmosphere and as well as my friends and family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, our next Tully Award goes to Dr. Glenn Barber, who currently serves as the Chairman of the Department of Cell Biology of the Eugenia Dodson Chair in Cancer Research and a co-leader of the Viola Oncology Program at the University of Miami Leonard M. Miller School of Medicine. Congratulations, Dr. Barber. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, uh, I would just like to thank the, the Cancer Research Institute, um, the committee, as well as uh, Dr. Allison for this prestigious award, uh, similar to what Andrea has just mentioned, as well as congratulate my other colleagues. Uh, it's been a, about a decade or over a decade since we, we first reported on the discovery of, of STING uh, and the cytosolid DNA signaling pathway. And we, we're delighted uh, that this pathway uh, has turned out to be so important um, in, in the fields of infectious disease, inflammation, and especially cancer. Uh, I sincerely hope and uh, fully anticipate that uh, our and other contributors uh, uh, to this field will indeed lead to the, the establishment of immunotherapeutic uh, treatments for a variety of malignant diseases. Uh, and similarly, I'd like to uh, most importantly thank my colleagues uh, who contributed to this work, uh, all my lab members, past and, and present, who also really spearheaded and pioneered um, much of this work on STING and STING's importance in these pathways, um, including uh, uh, Dr. Ishikawa, Dr. Ahn, uh, the Connors, and importantly, some key members of my admin team, uh, Ms. Goodman and Ms. Villanueva. Um, and of course, my institute, uh, the Sylvester Cancer Center and uh, the University of Miami. And thank you very much. Okay, thank you again, Dr. Barber. Our next Coley Award goes to Dr. Zizia Chen, or James Chen, as most of us know him, who is a member of the National Academy of Sciences and is currently an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, as well as the George L. McGregor Distinguished Chair in Biomedical Science, the Director of the Inflammation Research Center, and a professor in the Department of Molecular Biology at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. Dr. Chen's work previously has been recognized through a Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences in 2019 and the Lurie Prize in Biomedical Sciences in 2018, among other awards. Congratulations, Dr. Chen. Thank you, uh, Dr. Allison. Uh, it is my great honor to join my in celebrating the discovery of the CGA STEM pathway and its recognition by the Cancer Research Institute that this pathway is important for anti-tumor immunity. This is a great day for the field, and I want to thank Dr. Allison and the selection committee for choosing me to receive this prestigious Collier Award. When Dr. Collier treated his cancer with an activated bacteria more than 100 years ago, he was in essence harnessing the power of immunity to fight cancer. Since then, to work from generations of scientists, now have a much better understanding of the innate and adaptive immune system. And I'm thrilled that our discovery of CGAS has contributed to this understanding. It is my hope and belief that uh, by combining innate and adaptive immunity, we can carry on the legacy of Dr. Cauley and bring benefits to a lot more patients. I want to take this opportunity to thank the talented and hardworking people in my lab, uh, especially Josh Sun and Josh Yu for the contribution to the discovery of CGAS. I want to thank many people who helped me and supported my career uh, over the years, uh, especially my mentors, uh, Dr. Cecil Pika, and time many others for teaching me how to do original research. I'm very grateful to the leadership at UT Southwestern, uh, including Dr. Dan Podolsky, Eric Olson, Mike Brown, and Joe Ghosting for the unwavering support. I'm very fortunate to have the generous, generous support and freedom provided by the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. And finally, uh, I want to thank my parents, my wife, Annie, and my daughters, Lily and Alyssa, 
for your love and support. Thank you very much. Our next Coley Award goes to Dr. Veit Hardig, who currently serves as the Chair of Immunobiology of the Gene Center and Development of Biochemistry at the Ludwig Maximilians University of Munich in Germany. He also serves as a group leader at the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry and has previously been awarded the 2018 Lillian Bettencourt Prize for Life Sciences and the 2018 Gottfried Willem Leibniz Prize, among others. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Horner. Well, thank you, Jim Edison, for this very kind introduction. Uh, as you can imagine, it's a really great honor to be awarded this uh, great distinction today by the Cancer Research Institute. And I would like to thank you, Dr. Allison, and the scientific committee for choosing us for this really special award. As you can imagine, I'm, I'm very humbled, honored, and excited to receive the William Coley Award uh, today to join the ranks of really outstanding scientists that have received this award um, in the past, and of course also the co-recipients of this year's award, who are really uh, valuous, outstanding scientists, scientists, uh, colleagues, and friends. Uh, the discoveries that led up to this award uh, that are now honored here today have been made possible by an amazing group of scientists that I've been fortunate to work with. Uh, foremost, I, I would like to thank Andrea, who was um, um, already uh, highlighted here today. Um, but also previous mentors, uh, numerous graduate students, postdocs, uh, technicians in the lab, and many more who've contributed over the time uh, with their hard work, passion, dedication, and, and brilliance. This is also a good time to thank the funding agencies and institutions that make this work possible. In the first place, I hope that future years will see a continuous support of research also in areas that are not directly related to uh, clinical applications. I guess that today's choice of the Cancer Research Institute is a good example of how basic research can provide a new stimulus to innovative therapies. Lastly, I would like to thank my wife, Julia, and my family for the continuous support over the years. Uh, I guess that scientists among us know how difficult it is sometimes to follow such a career path and combine this with family life. Uh, so thank you, Julia, at this point. And finally, uh, on a rather personal note, uh, I must say that I'm quite delighted to uh, receive this particular award today, given the fact that it was a book about uh, William Coley that got me interested in, immun in immunology in the first place. This is a commotion in the blood, a book that some of you might know. And I, when I read this book um, during med school, I was really excited that I could at some point maybe contribute to immunology or cancer immunotherapy at one point. And well, here we are. So thank you, Cancer Research Institute, for closing this circle at this point. And again, I would like to uh, express my thank and gratitude um, to the Institute. Thank you. Well, th thank you for those nice words. And I think the, the book, Commotion in the Blood, has influenced a lot, of, a lot of people over the years. Our final Coley Award goes to Dr. Russell Vance, a Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator professor, the Department of Molecular Cell Biology at the University of California at Berkeley. His lab specializes in investigating innate immunity and bacterial pathogenesis. The Cancer Research Institute is proud to have funded his work from 2008 to 2012 with the CRI Investigator Award and proudly bestows upon him now its highest honor. Congratulations, Dr. Vance. Right. Well, thank you, Jim. It's certainly a great honor to receive the Coley Award and to be sharing it with several outstanding colleagues. It really has been a very exciting field to be part of. Um, I first want to thank the Cancer Research Institute, not only for this award, but also for supporting my research with a fellowship, as Jim mentioned, when I was just beginning my lab as an assistant professor, well before it was obvious that my work would lead anywhere. And the flexible support from the Cancer Research Institute really helped my lab explore new areas, including the work that led to this award. I was actually surprised to win this award because my lab is mainly focused on infectious diseases, not cancer. But William Coley himself, for whom the award is named, studied bacterial infections. And I suppose this is yet another reminder that fundamental science often leads to unexpected discoveries. The work on the Sting Pathway was done in my lab over many years by many terrific colleagues that I was so fortunate to work with. I thank the full list on Twitter, but I would like particularly to single out Sarah McWhorter, Dara Burdett, Katia Troja, J.D. Sauer, Sky Brubaker, Kate Monroe, Ailey Diener, Asaf Marcus, Philip Krenzisch, Steve Wilson, and Livia Yamashiro. 
Not everyone who is deserving could be awarded this prize, and I want to acknowledge that our work built on some early foundational work from others, um, including David Carolis and Dan Stetson, and was also made possible by a generous gift of reagents to my lab from Yoshihiro Hayakawa. I would like to acknowledge all my fabulous colleagues at Berkeley that have collaborated on our work on Sting, including Dan Portnoy, David Raleigh, Jeff Cox, and Jennifer Doudna. And I'll end by thanking my family for being so supportive and my parents who were my first teachers and instilled in me curiosity and a love of science. So thank you very much. Well, congratulations, Drs. Blazer, Barber, Chen, Hornig, and Vance on this outstanding achievement. Now it's time for our next and final scientific award. Each year, the Cancer Research Institute presents the Frederick W. Alt Award for new discoveries in immunology to a former CRI Irvington postdoctoral fellow whose research has had a major impact on immunology. The award is named after CRI Scientific Advisory Council member, Dr. Fred Alt, a professor at the Harvard Medical School and Immune Disease Institute in Boston, whose deep commitment to fostering young scientists embody the spirit of this award. I'm delighted to note that Dr. Alt is observing today's ceremony via remote connection. Presenting the 2020 Alt Award today is 2001 Coley Award winner and Associate Director of CRI Scientific Advisory Council, Dr. Robert Schreiber. Dr. Schreiber is the Andrew M. and Jane M. Bursky Distinguished Professor of Pathology and Immunology, Director of the Center for Human Immunology and Immunotherapy Programs, and co-leader of the Tumor Immunology Program at the Seitman Cancer Center at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. In, um, in, in among, sorry, his many honors include the 2007 Brubacher Prize for Cancer Research, the 2014 AACR CRI Lloyd J. Old Prize in Cancer Immunology, and the 2017 Balzen Prize, which he shared with Dr. James Allison, Allison, and membership to the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Sharba has been a member of CRI Scientific Advisory Council since 1997 and serves on numerous grant review committees, including CRI's Postdoctoral Fellowship Review Committee. Thank you, Jill. I, I am uh, absolutely delighted to be able to, uh, to award the Fred Alt Award from CRI to Dr. Tanish Torea. Um, some ideas come along before a field as a whole is ready to support them. Such was the case with cancer stem cells, a somewhat controversial concept pioneered in part by Dr. Tanish Dereya, this year's winner of the CRI's Frederick W. Alt Award for New Discoveries in Immunology. In 2001, as a CRI fellow in the lab of Irving Weissman at uh, Stanford University, Dr. Dereya was the first author of a paper where together they coined the term cancer stem cells. Stem cells function normally as, self -renewing, as a self-renewing resource that rebuilds and maintains our tissues by constantly resupplying them with new and healthy cells. Essentially what Dr. Rea's work has shown is that some cells within tumors also appear capable of taking advantage of this ability. Consequently, cancer stem cells with their stem-like qualities enable tumors to survive and progress and even resist treatments. Sometimes, such as in leukemia, tumors can originate from formerly normal stem cells. In other cases, cancer stem cells can arise from non-stem cancer cells that de-differentiate and revert to a stem cell state, thus allowing them to reacquire some of the properties of stem cells. After her CRI fellowship, Dr. Rea continued to receive funding from the Cancer Research Institute through a CRI Investigator Award while she was at Duke University Medical Center prior to moving to the University of California, San Diego, where she is now a professor of pharmacology and medicine. Throughout her career, she has continued to investigate cancer stem cells and has uncovered many more clues about their behavior, such as how they are involved in the development and progression of tumors as well as how they impact decisions about cancer patient treatment. For example, Dr. Rea has identified a number of pathways that govern self-renewal of stem cells and in turn control the aggressiveness of certain blood cancers. 
She also discovered a link between cancer stem cells, treatment resistance, and poor outcomes in pancreatic cancer, and showed that targeting these cancer stem cells may provide protection against relapse in a wide variety of cancers. Previously, Dr. Ray has been honored with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Scholar Award in 2007, the National Institutes of Health Director's Pioneer Award in 2009, and the National Cancer Institute Outstanding Investigator Award in 2015. Tonight, on behalf of the Cancer Research Institute Scientific Advisory Council and the Postdoctoral Fellowship Committee, I have the privilege of presenting the 2020 Frederick W. Alt Award for New Discoveries in Immunologies to Dr. Tanishta Rea. Congratulations, Dr. Rea. Thank you, Dr. Schreiber, for the kind introduction. I'm so grateful to the members of the board and to CRI for this award and for the recognition of my group's work over the years. Given Dr. Alt's extraordinary contributions to the field and my admiration for his work, it is an incredible honor to receive an award in his name. I'd like to thank CRI for supporting my work when I was a postdoc at UCSF and at Stanford and a new faculty member at Duke University. This early support was crucial in laying a strong foundation for all of the work we have done since. I also wanna thank my mentor, Simon Carding and the Immunology Graduate Program at Penn, Rudy Groeschedel at UCSF and Irv Weissman at Stanford, who gave me the foundational knowledge that I continue to draw upon today. The depth of my training as an immunologist with them has been really critical in allowing me to navigate new fields, moving from T-cell development to stem cell biology, and ultimately to cancer research. None of the work we have done would be possible without the exceptional students and postdocs that I've been privileged to work with, as well as my collaborators at Duke and the University of California, San Diego. This award really is a recognition of the discoveries they helped bring to life, and I'm grateful for their creativity, commitment, and hard work. Perhaps most importantly, I want to thank my family for their love and support, Rob, my husband, who I met at Penn Immunology, and my children, Remy and Nina. In a time like this, when we're faced with a global health crisis, economic insecurity, and racial and social inequity, people devoted to working for the good of others have never been more critical. CRI embodies this endeavor in every way and brings so much hope to so many people with its scientists and physicians working towards developing more effective therapies for cancer, and its supporters and donors being there to make these aspirations a reality. I'm so proud to be associated with CRI and inspired by its role in making immunotherapy a reality and changing the landscape of cancer care. Thank you again for this honor, and I look forward to many more years of working with CRI. Well, congratulations, Dr. Rayer, and thank you for those very, very kind words. Uh, with that, we bring our scientific award ceremony to a close. I'd like to thank all the members of the Cancer Research Institute Scientific Advisory Council, as well as former honorees who participated in our competitive selection process this year. It has become clear now more than ever just how important it is to call attention to the power of scientific research to transform cancer treatment and save lives. As a reminder, I invite you all to tune in Tuesday, September 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time for CRI's first ever virtual annual awards gala, which will feature highlights from today's ceremony, as well as our Grace Award winner, YouTube sensation and philanthropist Mark Applier. We'll also share stories from patients, scientists, and CRI supporters, as well as musical performances, with actor and comedian Joel McHale serving as host. This year's virtual event is free to attend, but you must register in advance. So please do so today by going to cancerresearch.org slash innovators. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you and see you on the 29th.